first fundamental law of electrostatics that we will discuss in this class is Coulomb's law. The simplest form of Coulomb's law describes the force that a point charge, a charge that has no volume, will experience as it is brought near another point charge. This force will be stronger for bigger charges than for smaller charges, and weaker if the charges are far apart than if they're close together. Mathematically speaking, this is the equation for the force a charge, Q1, experiences as it is brought near to a second charge, Q2. In this equation, R is the distance between the two charges. So the force is directly proportional to the product of the two charges, Q1 and Q2, and inversely proportional to the square of the separation, R. The direction of the force, indicated by the unit vector AR12, is pointing in the direction from charge 1 to charge 2. Note that if Q1 and Q2 have opposite signs, the force will be positive, indicating attraction. If Q1 and Q2 are both positive, or both negative, the force will be negative, indicating repulsion. Also note that the second charge will always experience an equal and opposite force, F2. Notice from this equation that there are two things we need to obtain from the geometry of the problem. One is the distance, R, between the two charges, and the other is the appropriate unit vector, AR12, that points from charge 1 to charge 2. For the general case of two point charges randomly located in space, we can find both the separation and the appropriate unit vector using the two position vectors R1 pointing from the origin to Q1 and R2 pointing from the origin to Q2. In this case, the distance between the two points is the magnitude of the difference between those two vectors, R2 minus R1, and the unit vector AR12 is equal to R2 minus R1 divided by that magnitude, R.